Hello, welcome back. In these episodes, I am covering the toolbar, and in this one specifically, I'm covering the pen tool on the toolbar. The pen tool, the shortcut for that is the letter P, as in pen. If I hit P, it turns my arrow into, it turns my selection tool into this little pen tip here. And what the pen tool is basically used for is setting opacity levels or effect levels on your video line, and it's for setting effect levels and audio levels on your, on your audio. Right now, I don't see any effect lines on, you see this like line going across right here? That is your audio level line for that audio clip right there. And up here, I don't see any lines on my video. I can change that by going hitting my little uh, wrench here and going up and telling it to show audio keyframes. My video, my audio, and show video keyframes. My audio keyframes are on, but my video keyframes aren't at this point. So I'm going to hit that and it turns on this little line right here. And this net, and this by default turns into a, an opacity line. You can also tell it to do different effects, which we'll show in later episodes. But right now, uh, let's show our opacity line here. So this adds keyframes. This pen tool is specifically used for adding keyframes. I pretty much never use this pen tool because there's a shortcut from your from your selection tool, if I hit V and it goes back to my my arrow tool and I move this down, notice my arrow tool, I'm actually able to grab the opacity of this, basically the transparency, and I pull it down. It looks like it's just going black here. Uh, there's a video clip below it. In fact, let's grab this one and move it up over the top of this clip and move it over here. You'll notice a transparency here as I grab this clip and drag it up. Now it's opaque. You can't see through it as I drag it down to 50%, maybe the, maybe around 50%. Now you're starting to see through to the clip below it. If I drag this down more, eventually it just disappears. Down to zero opacity, now it just disappears and it's gone. But what the pen tool does is it is used for adding keyframes. If I hit the pen tool, you can click and add a keyframe. That keyframe right here, and let's add another keyframe. Basically, if I grab this one now and drag it down, it's going to go from 100% opacity down to 0% opacity. Watch this. I'm going to mute my audio. Watch this as I play through it. It just basically fades out because it goes from 100% opacity to 0% opacity. I'm going to undo that, undo that again. And I say that I never use the pen tool because under my uh, selection tool, if you just basically move your mouse over this, uh, you can hold down your control key and it brings up a little plus there. And that's kind of a quick feature. Your control key, your command key will turn this into a plus and now you can simply add those same keyframes and eliminates the use of the pen tool. But let's go down here to the audio. The audio levels here, if you use your selection tool and turn this up or down, let's unmute that and listen through here. And we have those doors being slammed. If we grab this audio and we turn it down, and turn it down really quiet, and now we play through this, it turned down the whole volume level for that entire clip by like 19 decibels. Now it's really quiet. If I grab that and drag it all the way up, it'll be too loud. Now it's very loud. But now if you want to keyframe this with your pen tool, you hit your P, and you can click, and let's say just... Let's say for this portion here, I'm going to add a keyframe here and drag this one up. It's going to be really loud. Then it will turn down for the door slam. And I click here and click here and turn it back up for the rest of the clip there. So as we play through that, turns down well, and then turns back up. In fact, let's turn this all the way down. I'm going to hit my V for my arrow tool and just turn that all the way down so we don't hear the door slam. Well, now we don't hear, hear the door slam because I have that turned down all the way right there. Once again, I pretty much never use the pen tool because I can just hit my, uh, with my arrow tool, I can just hold down control or command and it's a shortcut to add those same keyframes. And I can grab the center portion and just turn it down and now there's no door slams. Where's my 300? And that's pretty much what the pen tool is used for on the toolbar. On the next episode, I'm gonna be covering the hand and the zoom tool.